there is a need to get the information to these people. There is a need for us as educators to make sure that in our classrooms, we not only talk about issues that are affecting the world, but we talk about our national issues, making sure we get down in the trenches and ensure that the students understand what it is that they're going to be asked to vote on and understand what their um, vote is going to bring about. Inspiring words from Omar Ortiz, the late vice president of Galen University, during a forum on the referendum discussions in taking Guatemala's unfounded territorial claim on Belize to the ICJ. But today, family and friends of the well-known businessman mourn his untimely death following a road traffic accident on the George Price Highway. Around 8.30 a.m., Ortiz was driving his Toyota Land Cruiser between miles 30 and 31 when he lost control of the vehicle and it flipped several times. The vehicle was extensively damaged and Ortiz was gravely injured. He was rushed to the Belize Healthcare Partners but succumbed to his injuries an hour later. It was a big shock win. Um, you know, um, just settling in for the morning, getting a call that, you know, um, they're at the hospital. He's been um, badly injured. Um, they're trying to get him out, you know, um, fly him out. And I realized immediately that it was probably very, very serious. Um, I went over to the hospital um, about 30 minutes after and by the time I got there they said he had just passed. Ortiz had a passion for finance. Up to his passing, he had been in that post as vice president of Galen University since April of 2015 after joining the team at the institution in November of 2014. Provost at the Education Institution, Dr. Eve Aird, says that the memorial will be organized in his honor. He was, for all intents and purposes, the captain of the financial ship that was steering Galen through uh, financial strategic management and planning. Um, he was a strong member of the Galen team who ensured that we have had the resources to run our academic programs, uh, to support those academic programs, and to manage uh, the Galen ship. Even before opening his company, Zetra, several years ago, Ortiz was known for his instrumental role in the turnaround at the Belize Chamber of Commerce. Between 2002 and 2009, he served as the finance manager at the institution under the leadership of then-CEO and friend Kevin Herrera. In 2002, um, he joined me at the chamber. I had come on at the, um, in the, at the end of 1997, and he joined me at the chamber as the, as the accountant slash finance manager in 2002, and we worked together up until 2008 when I left, and I understand he left in 2009. And... Um, you know, Omar worked with me very closely. I mean, he was a big part of the chamber turnaround. You know, when we when we got there, um, you know, the, the, the chamber was in uh, significant financial problems. And, um, you know, we, we worked very hard to get it back. And he was a big part of that process. I remember especially, you know, I we, we used to rely so much on him for for the negotiating part, he, you know, he loved to negotiate prices and, 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 and getting the best deal, you know, and, and that was very invaluable to us at that time. A businessman, a husband, a father, a brother and a friend, Omar will be remembered for his vibrant personality. Belize really lost, you know, a very aggressive, um, 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 good individual, you know, someone who I think um, was a major um, contributor in terms of spirit, in terms of drive to the business community. A very upbeat guy, uh, very upbeat guy. Always the life, you know, of the room. Dwayne Moody for News 5.